Hello, my name is Kevin Cavell and I'm a Solutions Manager for the Automotive and Energy Solutions team at Keysight Technologies. Today I have a EV1003 electric vehicle power converter test solution. But in this video, I want to explain one specific piece, which is the safety disconnect or SD1000A. The purpose of this safety disconnect is to disconnect these power sources. These are RP7900 series regenerative power system, two quadrant power sources. In an emergency, you want to be able to disconnect the high voltage from these sources from the device under test, and that's where the safety disconnect solution comes into play. You can see on the front panel there are three LED lights. The first is a green light that indicates that power is on to the safety disconnect, so you have appropriate power to, to the safety disconnect. The second light is a yellow light, which is the connected light. This light indicates that the outputs of the regenerative power system are connected through the safety disconnect to the device under test. So this light will be on when you're applying power to your device. And finally, there's a blue LED light, which is the reset light. When a fault occurs, the reset light will turn on and the connected light will turn off, indicating that a fault has occurred and a reset is required to reapply power to the device under test. So this is the front panel of the SD1000A. Let's go take a look at the rear panel. If we go from left to right, we'll see the first interface is the RPS control interface, and that's the LAN-like connection we see on the left. This connects with the regenerative power system so that it can closely communicate back and forth with the safety disconnect. Next is the remote interface connector. This connector has pins for status lights, remote status lights, as well as other control interfaces such as the emergency stop switch. Next to that is the fixture cover connector. This is an interlock switch that you can add to the system so that if the user is opening a door that gives them access to high voltage, the system would shut down and that high voltage would disappear. Again, it's, this is for safety of the user. Next to that is a digital I.O. port that can be used to drive an external relay. We'll show that later. And then next to that, you'll see the input and output to the safety disconnect system. These are the two plus minus terminals that you, that you see. On the left is the input. So from the regenerative power system, this is where the DC power would flow into the safety disconnect. And on the right is where the power would flow out. Next to both of those connectors, you'll see a green connector, and those are the sense connections that will sense the voltage to make sure that the voltage that you're applying is gonna make it all the way to the device under test. And then finally, we have the AC input to the safety disconnect, and this is just general power that's going into the safety disconnect so it can function. So we just took a look at the rear panel of the safety disconnect, and I had mentioned that there is a remote interface connector that can control status lights, the emergency stop, uh, so this is an example of some external or remote status lights and they'll be connected to that pin interface in the back and what they do is they mirror the lights on the front of the safety disconnect. So if I turn the output on, you can see the l both yellow lights go on and if I turn the output off, they go off. So this would be used to remotely monitor the status of the system uh, from far away, potentially far away and let you know if you need to take action. If you're interested in creating a similar remote interface, the part numbers for these lights are in our manual. So I also mentioned that on the rear there's a digital I.O. port and you can control some external relays. We have an example of that here and this is an AC contactor that is 24 volt DC controlled. So the digital pin would apply the 24 volts and close this AC contactor to apply power somewhere else in the system. So if you want to add an extra layer of safety, you can add an external relay, in this case an AC contactor. It also provides feedback to the safety disconnect as an extra layer of protection to let you know whether or not the relay is opened or closed. So let's take a a closer look at this uh, and we're going to light up these lights at the top here by closing the 
AC contactor. So I'm just going to go down here uh, to the regenerative power system, to the menu, and then system, SDS, data, and output. And I know it's probably can't see this, but this says output signal zero. I'm just going to change that output signal to one. And you can see the lights go on. So again, this is so you can add an extra layer of protection by connecting or disconnecting the system in an emergency uh, from an external port. So you can disconnect the DC from the safety disconnect, and you can disconnect something else, in this case AC, from uh, an external contactor using the digital I.O. So one of the other things I had mentioned was a safety interlock switch, and that is represented here. You can put it on a door or a safety cover, so if the user is going into the system, when high voltage is there, everything will get shut off. So let's demonstrate that. So let me turn the output on again. So you can see we're connected with the yellow light and our AC contactor is also connected. So let's simulate the user going and opening a door. So you can see this is just simulating the door being open. The AC contactor is closed. The output of the safety disconnect uh, is, sorry, open. Both are open, so no longer power. Uh, power is no longer applied. So we're in a safe situation. If they go and they close the door again, everything comes back as normal. This is a non-latching switch. So that's in the case of you know, someone doing something they shouldn't, but it's not necessarily an emergency. In the case of an emergency, we have the emergency stop switch, which is latching. So if we have the system, it's up and running, and somebody uh, you know, gets into a situation where they might get hurt, someone can go and hit the emergency stop switch. You can see the AC contactor opened, the safety disconnect opened, and our reset light illuminated, letting someone know that something happened and now we have to go and reset the system. In order to do that, you have to undo the emergency stop, but you see this is latching, so it didn't reset the system completely. In order to do that, we have to press the reset switch you can see we're ready to go here, but the output is still off, so we need to turn the output back on, and we're up and running again. So this is a demonstration of all the different ways you can use the safety disconnect as a part of the EV1003 power converter test solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.